it's uh, like you go desktop, window, PowerPoint, camera, whiteboard. So they said, Is that, that's amazing. Can you say that again, sir? I said, sure. Desktop, window, PowerPoint, camera, whiteboard. Simple. There seems to be a bit of confusion around using the tools to share content into Microsoft Teams meetings. People still get mixed up between what is desktop? Am I sharing my desktop? Um, am I sharing a window? How do I share PowerPoint? So I thought I'd go over a few things and I gave you a, a little way of remembering it, something of a little current. So let's have a look at this a little closer. The sharing content is done within a, a meeting. You have to be a presenter and you'll use the open share tray, which is now up at the top right hand corner. And this will open up the tray. And what I want to point out is think of these things in columns, a bit like our friend who tried to remind us about the different things that are available. Desktop, think of this column here. I'm lucky enough to have three screens. So think of that as a column. And those are the three screens that I get to choose from. If you want to share more than just a window, multiple applications, other things, it's safest to choose to share your desktop so that you can easily switch between. But make sure that you have other things hidden that you don't want to uh, be available in the, in the meeting. Or even closing, that's probably the safest thing. Your next column, a little bit wider here, is showing all the windows that are available. So go right along the edge here, you can see all the different windows I've got available. At the moment I'm working out of OBS, I've even got um, a separate window for Teams now that meetings can pop out. Uh, windows Explorer, a couple of Chrome windows, even the PowerPoint that I could show using Window. Uh, we'll have a look at these shortly. Your third column is showing PowerPoints, and this is one way to share PowerPoint into a meeting so that people can advance through and have a bit of control over their own experience of the meeting. It's uh, using PowerPoint online, so it's not going to give you all the capabilities that you might want, all the types of animations and things like you would use with the full PowerPoint on your desktop, but it um, does certainly serve the purpose of allowing people to go through and have control over that. PowerPoint um, and presentation. Uh, and lastly, the last column here uh, is whiteboard. And uh, this is where you'll see Microsoft whiteboard. And if you've installed any other third party apps that are supported as a whiteboard experience within Microsoft Teams. Now I did mention in that, uh, in that way of reminding ourselves of what's available, desktop, window, PowerPoint. I said camera, didn't I? And uh, this should be on, if you're going to turn it on, uh, as you're entering the, um, the meeting itself. Uh, and this will help you to determine, uh, is it the right you know, lighting? Am I, am I, uh, have I got the right camera on? If <laughs> you've got multiple cameras, all sorts of things like that. Um, but that's your camera button up here. And of course, you can mute the camera if you need to. Turn the camera back on. Um, so that's, those are your choices. So remember, again, with me, Desktop column, Windows, right along here. That's what you want to choose if you want to show just the window. PowerPoint, if you're just focusing in on a PowerPoint presentation and you want to give people control. And Whiteboard, if you start to use uh, the interactive whiteboards available to you. So let's have a quick look at what this looks like. If I choose, uh, and I've got three screens, I'm going to choose to share uh, Microsoft Teams and what's on my screen one. So let's do that. There's our desktop from here. I can share content, whatever I'm choosing to share. I've got full control over what I want to show. If we go back to our other choices, so let's stop sharing. Then we have windows. If we want to focus completely on a window that we're looking to share with, that would be, let's have a look at, maybe we're going to share the PowerPoint. So this is where if I wanted to give a full experience of all the animations that are capable within PowerPoint uh, and that's, that's the experience I want to give people, then I can do so there and 
I want to encourage you that if you are sharing PowerPoint, some people do like to see some of the slides that are available here and they can chop and change between. It's almost like a, a comfort to them as they're presenting. Uh, but do get into the habit of uh, using the full PowerPoint presentation mode and getting comfortable with swapping in and out of slides. If we go into uh, the slideshow setup, I believe this is going to go to, let's see, our primary monitor. So this will make sure that it presents on the monitor that we're seeing now. Um, and we'll go into the presentation. And so I've, I've got comfort there that I know what I'm doing with the PowerPoint. Now, if I need to swap between different slides, then I can um, go to see all slides. And that way I can jump back and forth between different things if I need to show people other parts of the presentation. So that's desktop and that's uh, quite a useful option. Uh, secondly, interesting that this new meeting window comes back down to a closed window. Uh, we've got PowerPoint. So well, let's look at that same presentation and as we do this, it's going to upload the presentation into this experience. It's using PowerPoint online and I can advance through the different slides. I can also control whether or not participants can do the same. Uh, and there are a few controls that are available there for me to, to use. And lastly, let's stop presenting there. We have our option to use Whiteboard. And Whiteboard has had an upgrade recently. I don't know what time you're, or what date you're watching this video, but um, it's going to improve, of course, over time. So if you're looking at this in a year's time, it's going to be uh, different again. But we've got some options here to, um, to add notes onto the page. Uh, and here's a thought. And uh, here's an idea. Funny how they go straight over the top of each other. And you've got your traditional pens as well. So good to see the note come in so that we can order our thoughts and I expect to see this uh, uh, improved quite a lot over time. Improvements. All right, so uh, let's end that. Stop presenting. That hopefully will help you to remember some of the options that are available to you while you're presenting. Again, say it with me now, desktop, window, PowerPoint, camera, whiteboard. Thanks for watching. See you again.